Hello and welcome to a statue review of Relax Time Lum from Yurusei Yatsura from Ban Presto. So right off the bat I am just going to come clean and say I have never watched Yurusei Yatsura apart from a few clips from the English dub on the UK TV channel BBC from like the 80s uh, which was a weird time and I think that was only ever like two pilot episodes and they never continued sadly because it was incredible. But I do know there is a reboot, I think it was, it either came out last year or early this year, of Yurusei Yatsura, which obviously was a very big uh, 80s anime, featuring uh, the titular character Lum, or as the packaging calls her here, Ramu, um, because there's no L in Japanese, so Ramu is Lum. Uh, but yeah, so, I'm going to take a look at this statue. Honestly, when I saw this uh, going up for pre-order, which is a while ago now, I was really interested because, as we can see from the side, she comes on a uh, table, which is quite interesting. So she, uh, much like the Nami statue I reviewed last year from One Piece, she's kind of a noodle topper, but comes with her own scenery to put her atop. Um, that and the fact I really like Lum's design. I think she is very cute. So I'm going to go slice open this box now and we'll take a look. Alright, so just in case you're curious, uh, she does come in three parts. There's the table, there's her, uh, and there's a leg. So, time to assemble it. Alright, so here she is next to uh, the box. So I'm going to move the box to the side. Uh, and we'll take a look at Lum on her stool. Uh, so this is a relaxed time version, but to be fair, it's kind of hit me that this is what she wears anyway, really. Um, a lot of the time, relaxed time statues tend to be kind of, you know, a character in more relaxed outfits or whatever, but this is what she wears all the time, I'm pretty sure. Again, though, I haven't seen the series, so let me know in the comments, but every clip I've seen, she's always been wearing this. So I'm going to go put her off to the side, uh, hang her off my table for a second, I think, uh, whilst we first take a look at the table. Uh, it's nothing, nothing like super... Uh, detailed or whatever, but you know, it does the job. It's got four feet. Uh, it looks like a school table, I guess, like a Japanese uh, classroom table or whatever. It's got the uh, part where you'd put the seat there and, you know, your legs can hang. Uh, minor, minor criticism. It would have been interesting to see some, like, wood greening or something, but I don't know. I don't think these tables tend to have wood green, do they? They're just kind of PVC wood or whatever. I don't even know if they're, you know, naturally hewn. But yeah, it does the job. It's cool. I always like a stand for noodle toppers. I know that's not really the point of them, but it is cool to have them both as noodle toppers, but also something that can just chill and look casual. And talking about chill and casual, let's take a look at Lum herself. So, uh, there's honestly not that much details to go over, so we'll, uh, we'll take a look. She's got her boot sock things with the tiger print. Again, I don't actually think it's tiger print. There's probably, there's probably some canon to why it looks like tiger print or whatever. So we'll move on up. Uh, we've got her hands, which yet again, ban presto, very good with the hands. I keep being kind of impressed because I always, I'm so used to like Western action figures where like their hands are like static, unmoving things that Whenever you see real expression, it's actually kind of cool. So yeah, those are her hands. Uh, and then round to her hair. No, um, they they have uh, they have definitely modelled Lum. Uh, good heavens, I did not realise Lum was uh, was packing that much uh, in the rear. <laughs> Uh, and then up to her bikini top. I, I mean, this is a bikini, right? I guess. Or maybe on her planet, this is normal attire. But uh, she also has the uh, the tiger print there. Not that there's much material to put the tiger print onto. And it's kind of tied behind there. Nice little touch. And then up to her hair. Um, so, I don't know why. Now, this is a stylistic thing, obviously. In the old uh, anime, it was it, it, it was a very unique sort of art style and like shading and colouring and stuff. And I don't know why, from the box and like the promo art, I thought her hair was one tone, which I was fine with. But actually, they've kind of two toned it, which I'm really digging. It's uh, it's looking really cool. It's like 
It's got the blue, it's got the lighter blue and the darker blue and then sort of like black accents as well because it looks a bit, the series itself is a bit like, I wouldn't say cell shaded, but everything's really bright. Um, I mean, her skin is super pale, like compared to a lot of statues I've got, I'd say she's quite pale. But yeah, it, it's got a very unique style to it. And her hair, again, she is an alien, so maybe the whole point is, you know, aliens from that race have hair like that. Again, let me know in the comments below. I will watch your Asayatara uh, at some point, but, you know, I, I've, I've got loads of stuff on my list. And she's got her little uh, horns, which oh, I, thought, I thought were a headband for a second. No, those are alien horns themselves, uh, for all you horn connoisseurs out there. And then lastly, onto her face, which I think is really good. Um... It's another of what uh, those statues where she's looking in a very specific spot. So you can display her however you'd like, but sort of, you know, there's there's only so many angles before it just looks like she's disinterested. Um, but, you know, it's cool. You can definitely set it up with other statues or whatever. You could have her staring over at some other statue you've got or whatever. But, yeah, that wraps up Lum. Uh, you can place her pretty easily on the desk there and sort of you can sort of angle her but because of the edges here you you don't have a massive amount of freedom but hey it's 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 a it's a prize figure you know it's a noodle topper it's not gonna have the biggest range anyway i'm gonna go off now and take a bunch of photos in different angles and stuff to get a better view and i'll be back so here is the montage Alright, I am back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that montage along with the uh, one or two spicy photos I put at the end for you patricians out there. So, uh, yeah, I've got to say this is a very cute statue. Um, as I said, I, I, have, I haven't watched it yet so I do feel a little bit bad about not knowing much about the character but you know, I, I really like the aesthetic, her design's great. Um, it, growing up I always like so pictures of Lum, sort of like, you know, back when anime was sort of a bit underground and a bit of that, like, that weird Japanese kind of thing. So, like, i would seen pictures of her before, but I am glad they've, A, remade uh, the series and stuff, but they've also seemed to have kept the style of the 80s, because, like, everything I've seen of the new remake series looks really nice too. And I'm also glad we're getting, uh, you know, kind of merch like this. I know there's a couple other Lum statues out there, more expensive ones. I think they announced a 1-4 recently, which is huge, but um, incredibly detailed where it counts. But honestly, in terms of a sort of noodle topper slash desk topper uh, prize figure, I can't remember exactly how much she was. I want to say between like 20 and 30 or whatever pounds, probably 30 to 40 dollars or something. I reckon she is a good purchase. Uh, if you like the character design, especially if you like Eurosayatra, you know, this is a really good option. Um, and she does sit on other things. I mean, if you've got a pile of manga, uh, you know, you could sit her atop that. You could sit her atop anything, really. A nice, uh, you know, thing to put on the corner of your desk whilst you're in the office, surrounding by, surrounded by all of your colleagues. Sure, they'd appreciate it. But yeah. That about wraps up this uh, fairly short review of the Relax Time Lum from USA Yatra. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you guys own this uh, or any of the other Relax Time statues. I am fast running out of room, so I'm not looking to buy many statues right now. But it's always good to know things uh, that are cool to add onto the list for potential purchase in the future. Um, yeah. That about wraps it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll leave a playlist for my other statue reviews there. Leave YouTube choose another video in the corner. Um, and until next time, goodbye.